Thank you very much indeed for inviting me to say a few words. I've got five minutes or so, um, and therefore I'm going to take shortcuts. You won't agree with everything I'm going to say, let me just warn you, but I do want to stimulate some debate. So, very quickly, I've been asked to do two things. One is to look at the issues and the problems in terms of our countryside, what are the threats, and secondly, what are the opportunities? What is the vision for the future? And I think in saying that, this is a moment in time which will go quite quickly. Uh, and we really all need to be engaged in the processes at the moment that are going on. We're seconds away from seeing the environment bill that's going to come out. Um, please get involved. We have the, uh, the Glover Review on Protected Landscapes. Please get involved in that debate. So very quickly, the landscapes we treasure are byproducts of other processes mainly farming and the way we've settled our land. So looking at threats, uh, I think we can concentrate on those two areas. But we mustn't forget, of course, that climate change is our single biggest threat because of our behavior. Um, and we can come back to that particular issue. The whole Brexit debate, of course, trade, if we get that wrong, the trade negotiations are our farming industry could be totally castrated. I'm sorry about that expression, but it, it, it makes the point very well. So that is a really big threat uh, to our farming industry, trade. Uh, land use planning, Surrey Hills are under enormous pressure. But are the local planning authorities taking the protection of this natural, uh, natural asset seriously? I'm not going to blame Surrey Hills and the local authorities, but I will say that nationally... A and Bs are not being respected as national assets. And we must not allow that to happen anymore. Farming, please don't get me wrong. I absolutely believe that sustainably produced, secure, sustainably produced food is the elephant in the room here. But we're in a cul-de-sac in terms of farming systems. Yes, we've got uh, failing world crops because of climate change. Uh, we've got the whole issues around the health agenda. Uh, but the big one is the sustainability of our food production processes, and they are not sustainable. If I can just give you a couple of examples. The chalk, for example. You know, our soils, we're losing our soils. The microbial health of our soils have been stripped out. To su survive in terms of agriculture, and I suspect this goes for that field that you can see there, we're putting nitrates in millions of tons. Nitrates that 50% uh, get to the crop, 25% goes into the aquifer. Uh, that depends which chalk you're on. Either it takes a week or 40 years to pollute the aquifer. And we are now on the south coast importing water to dilute the drinking water. Well, that's a nonsense. That's a nonsense. 25% goes up as nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is 300 times worse than carbon dioxide is in terms of climate change. Um, and slug pellets kill everything, and I can go on. We have not understood the unintended consequences of the science around agriculture. And I'm delighted that the chief scientist of DEFRA is now openly making that point. So we've got to shift the farming industry to harness the power of natural systems and align food production with natural processes. Uh, we must not any longer see public money going into supporting systems that are not sustainable and that are polluting our waters and our air. So in terms of the vision, yes, I would support Surrey Hills uh, as a national park. Why? There, are, there is one difference between national parks and Airbnbs, and the difference is in national parks, the public are... Uh, are encouraged to make use uh, uh, of the natural park as a place of enjoyment. And I'm saying that on a small, heavily populated island, <clears throat> can we really afford to have landscapes we're not prepared to share? That's a nonsense. And if national parks and AOMBs have the same quality, then we ought to be prepared to share our AOMBs. So I would suggest a 25-year program, that's the government's program, uh, of transforming 
all the large Airbnbs into national parks. Uh, and the planning function, let's adopt the South Downs model, because I can see the local authorities here saying, oh, over our dead body, we're not going to lose planning. I understand that. But actually, let's use the, the South Downs model, which I was part uh, participated in setting up, where the strategic planning role of the local plan is prepared by the National Park Authority, but every day-to-day -day decision on planning services is delegated back to the local authorities. So it seems to me that that would be very sensible. And on farming, let's, uh, let's use the new environmental land management system. Let's lose, use the management plan for the uh, AONB as the, the framework for public investment. And all those public goods, let's see clean air, clean water. Let's see a countryside teeming with wildlife. Let's see restored soils for future generations. Let's modernize access for health and well-being in a very much more proactive way. So I think this is a marvelous uh, opportunity for change. Uh, and I, th I think the Surrey Hills have a great future. You've been very patient. Thank you very much.